What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Cracking Packs and TG. Today, we're going to do a Dusk Morn House of Horror Play Booster box. This one's for my Facebook group member, Tony R. Thank you for sponsoring the box. And I owe somebody a booster box today as well. So I'll post that at the end of the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment. That way you can get on the giveys that we do here as well. So uh, the first little play booster box that we're going to open is this one. We've opened some play booster packs. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't feel like the play boosters hit as hard as the set boosters did. And uh, I do appreciate less products and more packs. But I think I think I want the set boosties back. Just give us 30 set boosties and make them draftable. Because those set boosties went hard. Stamped our card, little gremlin there. Undead Sprinter for our borderless hit. And give us our list back. This special guest stuff is uh, like this one per box or not even one per box business. Like, I, I like the idea, but get, let us have both. Sorry for the rant to begin this video. I just... Uh, I just opened this. Is this a, uh, is this, is this the rare land? I believe it's the rare land. Nice sit there. You know, I just opened this box and I was like, man, this is what I'm feeling today. And I'm going to tell everybody about it. But we do have 36 packs to get through. So sit back, relax, buckle up. It's going to be a minute. So when you went out to your, ooh, <laughs> that's filthy. Good hit there. When you went out to your local game store this past pre-release weekend or this weekend, what kind of box did you buy if you bought a box? Did you buy a play booster? Did you buy the collector? Did you buy a couple packs? Did you buy the bundle? I think the very the bundle is very close to being the perfect product. Um, I think with a few extra, extra includes, I think that could be their number one seller if uh, they just tweaked it just a little bit. Because, I, you know, you get, what, eight or nine booster packs in a bundle. But the thing is, like, they didn't come out of a booster box where somebody else has grabbed ten packs out of it. And you don't know what hits have already been hit out of it. So, and it, it's like your own personal, unmolested, sealed product that doesn't cost you three digits, a ley line of the void. It just, it feels, bundles feel good. They feel like you're yours, like you're not sharing with somebody else. Allows you to be selfish. Grievous one, this is my favorite art in this whole set. And I will mention it is because you can actually see the artwork. It's not cloudy, it's not muddled, there's not too much going on. I think I just changed the focus while I was doing this, so my apologies if that's what happened. Because I touched the screen to try to get a little of the blurriness out. Ooh, another land. We'll take it. We'll take it. We like those. And have you guys drafted play boosters yet? Is it a comparable experience to drafting regular draft boosters? Ley line and transformation. I really like this one. I like the blue ley line. But there's just not enough multi-hit packs and let's see we had a mythic room there but uh these these definitely ever since bloomborough they definitely feel more like a draft booster than a set booster Ooh, withering torment that's a good foil uncommon kona rescue bc everybody's favorite little bc ley line in the void again did we already hit a ley line of the void? I feel like we did. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we've just pulled it so much. I, I remember when ley line of the void was like a $20 or $30 card. Do you remember? Pampered Farm remembers. Creepy Toy Token. Cynical Loner. Entity Tracker. How times have changed. No longer have blocks. This feels like we have a new set every 30 to 45 days. You can no longer play with your Jeweled Lotuses, Mana Crypts, or Dockside Extortionist. What kind of world are we living in, guys? Vanish. 
Fear of Surveillance. I'm curious what the future holds after those bannings. It's definitely for a reason. We've got something. They have something in the pipeline. I'm just curious what it's going to be. I feel like mainly who that hurt was the big game stores and stuff that's sitting on tons of stock and tons of inventory of those high-end cards. They have bounced back a bit from the other day. Ooh, there's our special guest, Maddening Hex. But uh, still, still pretty, pretty brutal. Um, to put it lightly. Overlord of the armpits. We like him. We'll take it. Fear of falling. Don't make a sound and trapped in the screen. 36 packs is a lot. It is a lot of packs. Another mythic. And if there's one thing I've noticed, these boxes are full of these rooms. So hopefully that will be a good mechanic. They'll see some play and we're just not sitting here with uh, boxes full of doo -doo. Doing pretty well. Winter Misanthropic Guy. Another Withering Torment there. Murder. Say its name. Stamped Art Guard there. Razorkin Needlehead. That's a big rare hit, I do believe. Jump Scare and a Wary Watchdog. Looks like we're about halfway through the box now. Making good time. Making good time. Thornspire Verge. Lots of lands in this box. If you're looking for these lands, the uh, the play booster box might be the way to go. It feels like in the, the collector boxes, we don't hit a ton of those. I guess because they typically in the collector box show up in the uh, the extended the extended frame screen recording. Ooh, another one. It's free real estate, guys. We're getting it. Come on, Tony. Ley line of resonance. I think these ley lines are gonna be uh, be relevant. I think they're gonna do some things. So don't, don't sleep on those. Don't sleep on those. Bleeding Woods and Enduring Innocence. I love this Enduring Cycle. Really like the showcase frames. They're adorable. They look more like Pokemon cards than Pokemon cards do. And uh, I'm not mad about it at all. Let's see what we got. We got Restricted Order and Lecture Hall. Terramorphic Expanse. Foil, Phantom there. Unidentified Hovership. You guys believe in aliens? Didn't the government confirm that? Or at least they said they didn't know. They kind of left the door open saying, is it possible? Maybe. Fear of Missing Out Showcase. I think this was the first card of the set that got spoiled. Was the FOMO. We got a glimmer here. Valgos Lair in Showcase. That's a cool looking card. Threats around every corner. And Friendly Ghost. Stay hidden. Nico, Light of Hope for the Mythic. Don't see that card a ton. I think it's a solid card though. I got to get the right spot on the pack. I'm trying to open that one upside down. Marina Vendrell. We are blazing through this box. Doing a really, really good job of uh, not enduring innocence. Toby, Beastie Befriender. Not wasting any time with this one. Letting you guys get bored. Looks like we got four or five packs left, and then we're going to be done with this one, and I'll post the random Gibby at the end. Reluctant Role Model. He's a Ghostbuster. Don't act like he's not. And another room. So, Tony, thank you for sponsoring this box, brother. Sorry it took me a little longer to get to it. The, uh, the shop has been busy. We got FOMO. A Revelant Gremlin. 
and unsettling twins. Let's see what we get here. The Mind Skinner. Lots of people have been looking for that card. I'll have to see what uh, what kind of brews they've got and what, what kind of decks are trying to put that thing in. We got a Gurmlin token. Enduring Vitality. Let's see if we get some last pack magic in this next one. A little bit of mythic action. A little bit of borderless action maybe. Let's see what we can get. Come on, Tony. Oh, it is a mythic. Hauntwood Shrieker. I don't know if I've even seen this mythic yet. Very interesting pull. Well, thank you guys for joining me. We're going to throw a give you up right after this. Appreciate everything. Make sure you're subscribed. Like the video. Leave me a comment. That way you can get on the giveys going forward. Can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.